Welcome back to the Cap Rack. My name is Tyler Blumenstick, joined by Sam Meehan. We are bringing you the Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday. Uh, February 10th, college basketball picks from the Caps on Sports model. Um, we have, it looks like, 12 games that I ran through the simulation today. Uh, Big East games, I see. I see an ACC game. I see an SEC game. Uh, I see a Big Ten game. And uh, so, Wichita State, UCF, Houston, South Florida. So all the over American. the today. Yeah. The American. Um, <sighs> going to be honest. On, going to be honest. The board's <laughs> yeah. not fantastic today. Like, I, I feel like we have to flat out come out and say that to you guys. It's There's a lot of big spreads, a lot of home dogs. Um, I, I don't know. But we're going to run through all of them. We have two or three solid picks for today and then some other ones that could possibly give you some information while you're researching and see what happens so let's dive right into it um first pick of the day we're going to start with the wichita state or sorry the houston south florida game it's an 11 and a half point spread houston's favored 129 points we're predicting a 69 to 57 houston win uh, 125 points on the total. So we're looking at an under here. That's going to be the play. Under 129. Houston plays stifling defense, Sam. Mm-hmm. And South oh, Florida yeah. is kind of like an A team that can succumb to that pressure. And we could see a game like 60 to 50-ish here, I think. Yeah, I definitely see uh, USF uh, going to be able to struggle to score in this game. Um, they're not really a high-powered offense to begin with. And, um, but when it comes to, uh, yeah, so what do we got? 129. Should stay under with, uh, I don't see USF getting a 60. It's a matter of will, will Houston just completely blow the doors off of them and put up like 80, 90 themselves? I don't see that from them. So, yeah, I love the underplay here. It was so funny because earlier I had it as 140 something, 146 as the total. And it said we were getting the under with like 23 points of edge. And I was like, that is a lock. That's the lock of the century. But like, yeah, there's something off there. There's no way a Houston total is in the 140s. Exactly. Um, But we're still getting three and a half points of edge here. The model tends to run over. So this is good. Um, Getting three and a half points there of edge. Um, next pick of the day is going to be Missouri at Mississippi. We have Mississippi coming in at uh, one and a half point favorites, 133 on the total. The model likes a uh, 69 to 70 um, Mississippi win. But if you dive into that, it's 68.76 to 70.4, a 1.65 margin. So we're getting an edge of 0.15, sticking with the trend if you followed with us last week of uh, – Betting the strong points of the model because it's not necessarily working the way it's supposed to work, but there's definitely bright spots and like analysis that we've put in place to the point where we can get uh, solid wins above 60%. So Mississippi is going to be the play here against the spread. Sam, what do we have here? Yeah, so both teams here coming off big wins on this pa- on this past Saturday slate with Mizzou uh, holding on for dear life in that second half against Alabama and coming out with the win. And Ole Miss themselves uh, putting up a little comeback in the last couple minutes against Auburn and winning that game. Uh, so, yeah, I do like uh, Mississippi in this game. Um, not the most confident play I've ever seen, but, you know, I do like them, especially they're at home. And what I saw from Mizzou in that second half is a little concerning. They can just flat out forget how to put the ball in the basket. So, yeah, let's, let's take this high-flying, uh, you know, this – Actually, more of a defensive team, this Ole Miss team, but um, it should be a fun game. Uh, the SEC is looking, uh, you know, getting a little stronger as the year goes on, so should be a uh, nice Ole Miss win tonight. Nice yeah, I like Ole Miss. They're they're six and four at home, but you look at Missouri five and two on the road, so I, nothing really telling there. I, I just I don't know. I feel like Ole Miss is a very solid team, and every time I think that it's going to be a close game, they always blow out their opponent and win by like mm. ten plus. So. I, this is a good spot based on the eye test. The model backs it up. We'll go with it. So, uh, yeah, we've been running for what? Probably like five, six minutes at this point. Those are really the only two picks we have today. So let's just run through the model projections. Um, Villanova minus 10 and a half against Marquette. We have a 76 to 62 Villanova win. 
So showing Villanova against the spread with four points of edge there. Sam, anything quick on this guy? Yeah, it's one of like the uh, the what would be a high confidence player with uh, almost five points of edge here. Um, Marquette, you know they're they're all, they're always playing Villanova pretty well, but this is a elite Villanova team and a kind of a uh, subpar Marquette team than we're used to. Um, I actually do like Marquette or Marquette uh, Villanova to uh, win and cover here. Alrighty. Um... Next one, we got Wake Forest at Boston College. Wake are one point favorites on the road, 144 on the total. Uh, we're seeing a 77 to 75 Boston College win. So, as dogs, we're getting 3.6 points of edge there at home. Boston College, not a great team. Wake Forest, also not a great team, but scrappy. Both teams are pretty scrappy, and Boston College could put the ball in the hoop early in the year. Kind of have just fallen off into the depths of the ACC as usual, but like, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they can actually beat Wake Forest at home here? Um, I, I'm so scared to bet on this game here. Yeah, like, I'd stay it's away. it's so the play that I do kind of like in this game is actually an overplay. Yep. Uh, total sitting at what 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 142, 143, 144. Yep. And we're projecting 152. Yeah. So wow, we got some edge there, but um, yeah, both teams can uh can can score. Keyword there is they can. Will they? Who knows? Um, spread or money line here, I'm terrified of, but I'm a little more confident in, in an over, but even that's a little can be a little shaky. Yeah, not without a doubt. Next game, it's it's an interesting line. Georgia at Tennessee. Tennessee are 12 and a half point home favorites, uh, 140 and a half on the total. So we're seeing a 82 to 66 Tennessee win, uh, about 15.7 points of edge there, or margin points. 3.1 points of edge if you factor in the Vegas spread. But, however, Tennessee has been, like, very up and down. They We have games where they score in the 80s, and then we have games where they score, like, 49, 48, 55, like, all, all down there. Georgia is the opposite, where they can put on an absolute clinic. They can score 100 if you want them to score 100. Um, They'll also give up 100. 100%, for sure. Lots of hundreds <laughs> around here. <laughs> It's 12 and a half points, and Georgia's a team that can score, and Tennessee has shown me enough to the point where I don't think that they warrant being 12 and a half point favorites. Talent-wise, they do. But this is a value spot for me with Georgia. I'm going to take this personally, but 12 and a half, I like that. Yeah, I, Georgia's actually been kind of rolling. Uh, they won three in a row with wins against uh, Ole Miss, Auburn, and Vanderbilt. Um, Tennessee coming off a uh, you know, a big comeback or a big second half against Kentucky, but – Everyone's having basic like that second half against Kentucky team getting close. Before that, they lost to Ole Miss and you know struggling to score. So, I do like actually the Georgia pick. I think they they have enough firepower to uh, keep it within you know single digits. Yeah, I mean it's always interesting when you go against the model because I feel like more often than not we get burned. But this is a high <laughs> spread. It's like I don't know. It Georgia should be able to cover this number in college basketball. Not many teams are separated by 12 and a half points at this level. So yeah, Georgia's a, a solid team too. So mm -hmm. for sure, they're, they're a slouch. They're a tournament team. I agree. Um, LSU at Mississippi state minus one and a half for Mississippi state, one forty five and a half on the total. Uh, we have 73 to 71 LSU win on the road. Sam, before we uh, started the podcast, you mentioned you liked LSU today. Why? I love LSU today, or I just, I just like them in general. Um, I think they got the, uh, you know, the elite talent there, and uh, Cam Thomas, you know, the guy that you can go to and just go get a bucket. And with a spread, with this like a pick, pretty much a pick'em spread. Um, I know uh, Mississippi State has been, you know, pretty impressive, and LSU has lost four or five, but um, I like I'm gonna write the ship a little bit tonight. You can take LSU and Georgia, slap them together, and not tell the difference. Yeah. They can score and they don't play defense, but yeah, which I love. Can't wait till they play. If they it do. works in college basketball more than it would work anywhere else. So, um, next game: Rutgers at Iowa minus six and a half in favor of Iowa. One fifty-two and a half on the total. We're getting an eighty to seventy Iowa win. Um, so projecting Iowa winning against the spread and a little bit on the under two point two points of edge there. But I would not touch an under with Rutgers and Iowa State. I don't care if the total is 152, 142, 162. 
just leave it alone. I mean, Iowa should probably handle them at home, but Rutgers has been a very sneaky team. Yeah, and also uh, Iowa has lost four or five games. They have. Uh, I mean, granted, it's uh, Indiana at Illinois. They beat uh, Michigan State, and then they lost home against Ohio State and at Indiana again. Um, so it's a matter of do they write the ship here? Do they keep sliding a little bit? Because Rutgers is also a surge and won four in a row. So um, is it is a, a scary, you know, spread here? Um, so I personally, I would advise kind of steer clear. I agree. Kind of we, it's kind of we figure out. What I, who Iowa is really is, is it Luca Garza and a bunch of scrubs or is it an actual title contender? For sure. I mean, I, I would hope it's the latter, but you, you mm-hmm. never know. If the three ball goes cold for those guards, it's exactly. literally game over. Like you have to be consistent. Um. Okay. So Sam, let's do rapid fire with this. We have five home dogs. Sorry, four home dogs. Because or five home dogs. dogs. Yes, we do. Um, I'm going to rattle it off. You tell me who you like, and we keep it moving. All right. Indiana, minus four against Northwestern. Indiana. Wisconsin, minus 12 at Nebraska. Wisconsin. Virginia, <laughs> minus four and a half at Georgia Tech. I'll let you go Georgia Tech. All right. Uh, Wichita State, minus one and a half at UCF. Wichita. I like that too. And then finally, Connecticut, Minus one and a half at Providence. Providence. Okay. I happen to agree with you on every single one of those. So oh, let's go. What you will. Let's go. <laughs> um, Sam, do you have any NHL picks for us today or NBA? Um, So only two NHL games tonight. And I got picks on both of them. All righty. All right. So uh, seven o'clock, we got the Bruins at the Rangers. Um, Rangers need a win. Bruins are surging. Um, I'm going to pick neither of those teams. I'm going to go under five and a half. Because uh, both teams are, are have been uh, figuring out defensively and, and in net as well, and then uh, we're gonna go north of the border and what what be the what might be the two best teams in the NHL right now? The Maple Leafs at the Canadians, uh, just a straight one, minus one ten both ways. Let's go with the home team Montreal here in a uh, in a little statement win here against the Toronto, and all right. uh, that, that's all I got. There you go. So. Two NHL picks, two college basketball picks, plus a bunch of other model predictions that we just <laughs> ran by. Uh, take it for what you will. You can never have uh, too much information because, as they say in sports betting, info wins. Um, but, yeah, that is Wednesday's February 10th episode of The Cap Rack. My name is Tyler Blumenstick, joined by Sam Meehan. We'll see you tomorrow? Sure. All right, yeah, tomorrow. Sure, we'll sure we got stuff tomorrow. See ya.